It is just past 4 p.m. here in Lahore. I'm Mokar Rizvi coming to you live from the Indus News headquarters. These are the headlines. begin in Washington. President Donald Trump has said that the U.S. has made great strides recently in Afghanistan. Talking to reporters at the White House, Trump said that the Afghan peace process is moving in the right direction. In Afghanistan it itself, at least 13 Afghan soldiers have been killed in fierce fighting for control of a strategic district in the northwest of the country. Afghan government forces backed by U.S.-led warplanes are fighting to prevent Taliban insurgents from seizing the Bala Murghab district in Badris province. The United States has threatened Turkey with expulsion from NATO after it refused to cancel an order for a Russian air defense system. Speaking at a NATO summit, Vice President Mike Pence said Turkey must choose between being part of the alliance and being a threat to it. In Libya, meanwhile, fierce clashes have broken out south of Tripoli between forces loyal to the country's two rival governments. The fighting was sparked by an assault by eastern forces commanded by General Khalifa Haftar. And in football news, Manchester City is back on top of the Premier League standings after beating Cardiff City by two goals to nil. Belgian midfielder Kevin De Bruyne and German striker Le Roy Sané each scored to secure victory for the reigning champions.